Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Coding is for Girls. Today I'm gonna give you some homework. I prepared for you two exercises that you will be able to solve using things we already learned about Python. If you missed any of my previous video, make sure to look at the playlist I created, there will be a link in the description below, and watch it first. Learning Python syntax is one thing, but similar to all natural languages, if you're not using the language, then you don't really know it. So the most important tip I have for you is to exercise, exercise and exercise as much as you can. I have two programming challenges for you. You can try only one of them or both of them and you can make them as detailed as you wish. In a week or so, in my next video, I will show you an example program that is solving these exercises. So you would be able to compare your solution win the one I propose to you. The idea here is that you have a chance to solve the problem on your own without seeing how I did that and try to figure out it on your own using the tools we already know and syntax of Python we talked about. And the thing with programming is that there is no one and only one possible way to fix something or to solve the problem. There are many things you can do in different ways. This is the same with natural language. You can communicate something using different sentences and different words, but the meaning will be pretty much the same. So the main challenge here is to make your program work. Okay, challenge number one. Since I moved to UK, I'm super confused with imperial units. For me, it's natural to use metric system but sometimes I just need to convert things from centimeters to inches and from inches to centimeters and I never remember how to do that. My first challenge is writing a program that does exactly this. First, your program should ask user to provide the number of inches. Then it should wait for user to type the number and click enter. Then it should take the value and convert it into centimeters. As a quick hint, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. And the tip here is not to use integer numbers in Python, but decimals. Then it should print answer. And you should replace number and result with the calculated values. For example, for two inches we will print two inches is 5.08 centimeters. Okay, this is the first challenge. And bonus points are for making sure that if user provides some incorrect value, so instead of number, uh, they will print some text that is not convertible into number. It will not crash, but display some nice error. For example, this is not number, please provide correct value. Time for more complicated challenge. And I hope that will teach you more Python than any video can potentially do. How many times in your lifetime you had to solve the test? I must admit I hated tests at school. I felt so limited and my strategy to solve tests was very bad. But the good thing about tests is that you don't really need a human to score the test. And my second challenge for you is writing a test that will ask 10 different questions to the user and present four possible answers when only one is true. Okay, let's break it down into pieces. At the beginning, the program should ask first question and four possible answers. For example, what Python keyword is used to start defining a function? 1. Def. 2. Func. 3. Var. 4. Function. Then it will wait for user to type 1, 2, 3 or 4. Then, second question is displayed, and it waits for an answer. Then third, fourth, and so on. When user answers the last question, we should take all answers and check against the correct answers and calculate the score. 
and you should score 1 if user answered the question correctly and 0 otherwise. Finally, you display the result. Are you excited? I hope you are and you will not wait any longer and just sit down with your code editor and start to program the first challenge. I'm sure it will be frustrating at times, you will get stuck, there will be different kinds of errors that you haven't seen so far, but this is exactly the point, to learn how to deal with that with the moments when you don't know what to do. If you are stuck, make sure to watch all my videos very carefully. You could also try to Google your answer, just open your browser and search for the phrase or describe the problem you are experiencing and try to find solution there. Or ask a friend or just comment down below and I'll try to look at your questions there. In my next video, you will see how I solve this problem using the things I already showed you. And you will be able to compare your code with mine. And as I said, there is so many ways to implement the same thing. And the program that one person wrote would be probably slightly different than another. And that's fine. But it's also very interesting to compare and learn new things. I hope you are motivated now to start. And if you write something interesting, make sure to share it. I'm really interested what you are writing. You can just comment down below or share it on my Facebook page. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn how to program with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Have a lovely day and see you!